take a look at a rear wheel drive layout. Just like the front wheel drive, they're all color coded. Blue represents your engine, which in this case is showing a V12. Pink represents your torque converter and your orange represents the transmission. From further down back, the black represents your drive shaft, differential, and your final drive. The advantages of having rear wheel drive a rear-wheel drive layout is, uh, just to put it in simple terms, it's a 50-50 balance. Uh, so basically what I'm trying to say here, it's an even weight distribution here. Because whereas with front-wheel drive, front-wheel drive has all the way in the front and the weight is, is uneven. That's why you get that torque steer. Whereas with rear-wheel drive car, you don't have to suffer that since it's all, it all has an even weight distribution. Another advantage of having a front-wheel drive layout is when you kick your foot hard on the throttle on a front-wheel drive car, once the car lifts up like that, your front wheels will be, will be spinning constantly until it starts to gain traction because the front wheels are slightly off the ground just a little bit. Whereas in rear-wheel drive cars, when you kick your foot hard on the throttle and when the car goes up like that, your rear, rear wheels will start gaining more traction because all that weight is going to the back and you know the rear wheels are still on the ground. There's a copy out of that though. With front with sorry, with rear wheel drive en engine layouts, you're gonna be suffering something uh, with space. Since the drive shaft kind of protrudes inside the car, there's not enough space or leg area for you as a driver or passenger uh, in the car. Another disadvantage is with, with rear wheel drive is you're gonna be suffering something called oversteer. And oversteer is opposite from understeer. Understeer is when your front tires doesn't gain traction enough traction, whereas with oversteer is when your rear tires spin uh, excessively and causes your car to spin out. The characteristics of a front wheel drive and rear wheel drive engine layouts are different. They do share something in common. They're both two wheel drive cars and they both share certain advantages and disadvantages. The question is, what are what will you go? If you're into some more compact cars and something a bit more basic and cheap, go ahead and get yourself a front wheel drive car. If you want something more high performance and more technical, and also, but also having an even weight distribution, and if and if you want to drive it on the track, go ahead and get yourself a rear wheel drive cars. Keep in mind, cars like Ferrari and Lamborghini will have the same exact same well the exact same engine layout except without the drive shaft because the engine and all these parts right here is located into the middle part of the car. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later.